from day one a large part of what we have learned here has been about the majestic revolution to education that is artificial intelligence how ai will completely revolutionize education how it will transform our current pedagogies but you must not forget the fact as my partner said that ai as revolutionary as it may be is just a tool and no tool has unlimited power while ai may revolutionize countless aspects of our education system there are some aspects of our system that are timeless and will just remain that way to speak more about the constancy of the fundamental essence of learning and the unbreaking learning continuum we have dr arunap singh dr arunap Dr Arunab is a director principal of Nehru World School Ghaziabad. Dr Singh is the chairman of the FICCI Arise for UP West, a member of the school standards setting committee under National Education Policy India 2020 and a member of the Cambridge South Asia Advisory Board and also a British Council school ambassador. We invite you upon stage sir. Can we can we involve a round of applause for these young men? I mean, without a shred of doubt, I can say I could not do this at that age. I can probably not do this at my age now as well, but I could certainly not do this when I was that age. So once more, like you had the coffee that Lena asked for. Thank you. All right. Um, my state of mind today is like the state of mind of a hostler who's stayed awake all night. reading for that maths exam and now has no idea what all information is in his brain i think that's the kind of discussion that happened yesterday on artificial intelligence so my my slide deck is from 2 days old it's kind of outdated and before i even go through it i have this one confession to make I am married aur mujhe shehnai se ab bhi dar nahi lagta hai Of course not <laughs> Where is Abhishek So oh, there he is yeah There is light at the end of that tunnel it's a long tunnel but there is light See, I am an educator, and I work in 40-minute intervals. I have 30 minutes left, and I would attempt to only hear the Chennai because it is good. So, I will try to make some points and hope that I am coherent. But I'm I'm sharing this right now. I am no expert on AI. and i don't know anybody who is so that's my outdated list of tools of ai and i say outdated because i found this on the 9th of august and a couple of days have passed so i'm sure there are more tools available and the simple point i'm trying to make in the next 12 minutes humans have been inventing tools to make them more efficient and to embark on this journey from being a human to being a transhuman from the time when we got the concept of a wheel together we could now envision to run faster than a cheetah we couldn't do it before that we figured out fire we figured out of many you know many many other things um, on the way and we kept learning we kept learning with whatever tool was available to us and we kept improving our tools sandeep sir talked about we must read now we couldn't read before the printing press came about so that was another revolution and then we could read so much more when the internet came about and that pace of change has only gotten faster but let us not get disillusioned 
we've been making ourselves better tools. AI, to my limited understanding of this concept, is another fantastic tool that makes us go further on this journey of being transhuman. To my understanding, and again I say my limited understanding, what we need to do to move further as human race, or what we need to do as educators in the classrooms that we go to every day, is, is something much more intrinsic to learning. And this tool does not and will not interfere with that basic tenet of learning of the human brain, something that we've been harnessing since we know of history. It's, it's not coincidence that 5,000-year-old temples existing in Egypt and your Nalandas and Takshilas and Chinese monasteries have been congregating together like we're congregating here where human brain is learning from another human brain. And in that time, like I said earlier, we've got better tools. They say the smartphone in your pocket now has better processing power than what NASA had to put man on the moon. And now we're hoping to put a human on Mars and having those dreams. So let's use the tools that come to us as tools that we harness to do what we really, really, really want to. So my single money slide will come after this one. This tweet of mine has aged rather well. In 2016, I was writing, technology won't replace teachers, but teachers who use technology efficiently will replace teachers who don't. I thought it had come true when we saw pandemic. But then I didn't know that AI was coming. And a couple of months back, Bill Gates was in Delhi, and, and some of us had an opportunity to, to see him in flesh and blood. And he said, well, the AI that you are interfacing with, I'm currently interfacing with AI two generations ahead of it in the hotel room. Something that will come to you in the next few months. And in his words, he said, you'll be blown away. As if we are not already. But I stick to this, and I think this tweet will age rather well as we move forward. Teachers will not be replaced by technology, but if we harness it well, we would perhaps find ourselves to become better teachers. What we are attempting to teach our children who come to our school five days a week, and that is not just for curriculum, that is for so much more. That is for human engagement. So while Deepak serves two hours a week may give them a lot, but I am very sure it will not dismantle the physical schools and everything else that they give to the child apart from just knowledge. My understanding of learning, the Sanjeevni Bhuti, the mother of all medicine, is curiosity, reflection, and wisdom. Would you agree with me so far? Yeah? It's only the curious who have something to find. There are enough and more stories of a child, you know, sitting on the uh, railway platform, preparing for exams, clearing, child sitting on street light and, you know, making the most of their lives. These are stories of children who had the spark, who had the hunger to go find knowledge wherever they could find and succeed. They had curiosity. And to me, that becomes the basis of all knowledge. I could be living inside a library and never read a book. Or I could be reading all those books and never be reflecting on them. It was 2004 and the last lesson 
my professor was going to give on teacher development. He'd been teaching us teacher development for three months, and he said the last class is going to be in a pub. So he took us out and got each one of us a beer. For all professors out there, that's a good class. He got us a beer and he gave us a last lesson, and perhaps the only one I remember from the three months. He said, and I quote, experience does not teach you anything. Experience does not teach you anything, but reflecting on it does. So you can make the same mistake for 10 years, grow old making that mistake, but not be any wiser. So to me as an educator, reflecting on my learning is something I feel is timeless. And we should not lose sight of it. And the third is wisdom. I know nuclear science. Will I make a reactor or would I make a bomb? And all of this information that is coming to our students, to our teachers, to all of us. There are so many times we are believing Instagram reels as if they are gospel truth. We need to find time to do more wisdom. As the world that our students interface with becomes faster and faster and faster, it's an increasing need for us to make them wiser. So to my understanding as an educator, these three are part of that learning continuum that has not changed, that will not change, and we must not lose sight. But coming back to the big word, AI, in the room, if we would have made a wordle of everything that was spoken yesterday and everything that is starting to be spoken, it would be a big AI in the middle and everything else around it. I will share one tool that I have found out, and maybe you know, it might be of some use to people in the room. Something that helps teachers harness this tool to the advantage of themselves and for their students. Three minutes and 33 seconds. So this is where I found, this is almost like a chat prompt library. There was the thing that even Lena spoke about. It's more about the question you're asking, right, rather than the answer. It takes one fertile, worthwhile question to get you nowhere. It takes one fertile, worthwhile question to have your child engage with you in the classroom. So what this website has done is um, put these uh, chat prompts. So I picked up from some of those chat prompts and got things for reflection. So I said, what's the best way to get reflection happening in the classroom? So it gives me all of these. Similarly for curiosity, I'm sure school use would uh, distribute the, the presentation later. So, uh, for curiosity, for wisdom, uh, that was Google Bard. Google Bard actually can tell you things that are happening right now. So if, if this session was happening live, Google Bard would be able to give you a, a summary of it. So these are the two tools that I use for this. So AI for education.io, and this is going into one of those chat prompts where it says, generate lesson plan ideas with chat GPT. So this could possibly become your first draft. A chat prompt is, you are an expert grade 6 science teacher, come up with three ideas for lesson plans in our unit on earth science. Lesson plans should be 45 minutes each, should build on each other, lessons should focus on plate tectonics, the study of earthquakes, so on and so forth. So, in the prompt library, it'll, it is leaving all of those things that you really want to do as empty. So you can put that in and, and make use of it. So, let us use this tool to harness the energy from it that it can be used for. Enough and many times, humanity has said this technology will lead to job losses, this technology will see the end of us, and every time we've had a technological shift, we've become more efficient as a species and started to do so much more. 
my best wishes to each one of you to lead your schools in these fantastic times where the rate of change has never been faster.